Jackson Davis drives, passes off. Miller Cop, they say, got all ball. Well, he's fired up. He might hurt somebody. Be careful in there. Miller is the model for what you would want a player to be. His work ethic, character, leadership. When you put all those things together, for me, when I say, what do I want a Northwestern basketball player to be? You look at Miller Cop. I know he's super competitive. He's got three brothers at home that I know he's constantly been competing against each other since they were young. And I think just when Miller doesn't get the results that he wants out of something, that he's not gonna stop until he does reach his goals. With four boys within six years of each other who all like sports, everything from how fast you could eat was a competition. Brush your teeth fastest, who can you know, get up the stairs fastest. A tape ball, you know, with throwing the tape ball back and forth, or a tennis ball bouncing it and catching it. Just fun stuff, and one would be able to do it, the other one wouldn't, and then they would argue, and then we'd have to break it up. And I tell people, it's like, I feel like a referee at home. Competition is just in my blood. It's just second nature to me, and I credit all of that to my, my mom, my dad, and really my brothers. Teddy Wheeler is probably the single most important person in terms of my life for basketball. That's it, that's a good rep. You gotta make the left when it be a good rep. When we met Teddy Wheeler, it was by accident, and it was a world that we knew nothing about. There's a team, Houston Elite, that Teddy Wheeler's coaching. Teddy had a workout for like six guys, and uh, I knew right away, I was like, this guy, this guy knows how to run a practice. He's energetic, he's passionate. That's nice and explosive. That's it, that's a good rep. To be great at something, we attribute a lot of that to having met Teddy. When I was really deciding on whether or not to go full force into basketball and into the AU scene, my dad called John Lucas, one of his friends, I said, hey, Luke, we need some advice. Miller's not sure about what to do. Lucas was like, I can't say his language. He goes, what the F do you want? And Miller, he, it, like, it was just hit him right between the eyes. And he's like, I want to play high major basketball, and I want to play in the NBA. That was really a moment that, that changed my outlook in terms of what I want to do and what I have to do to get there. For three. You have to watch Miller Cobb. You see him shaking his head saying, I'll hit that all night. Cobb is red hot right now. Everything is falling for Miller Cobb. It's like he's throwing it in the ocean. When we first started recruiting Miller, we were really the first Power Five school to offer him a scholarship. Cobb, Northwestern's leading scorer for a reason. Miller is by far our most disciplined worker in the program. He lives in the gym. He's what we call a gym rat. Even to the point where we've had to uh, tell him it's too much at times. Like, you need a day off today. I was his roommate freshman and sophomore year, and when he would just leave our dorm room at 12 a.m., you know, he, yeah, I knew exactly where he was going. He loves the game. He eats, sleeps, and breathes basketball, and I think he just can't get enough. Oh, Millie, pop! That's what we talk about, boy! I read something recently that says, if you genuinely care about the goal, you'll take care of the process. That led me to care about the process. I knew if I did that, then the goal would take care of itself. A lot of us are going through wanting to be better, wanting to find more. Social media is a cool place, and I've followed a guy named David Goggins. He's a Navy SEAL. He's the toughest guy I've ever seen in my life. I was like, how'd you find this guy? He's like, oh, you know, I've been checking him out on YouTube and different things like that. He would yell to his boat crew, who's going to carry the logs? who's gonna carry the boats, just as motivation, like who's gonna do this hard work. My dad and I over the past couple months have sh 
shared that. It would be one night and I'd be like on my third bowl of ice cream or something. It'd be like that. Come on, who's gonna carry the logs? You know, I was like, you're right, that's it. I'm starting again tomorrow. It's something that kind of an inside thing between me and him about who's gonna do the hard work, who's gonna be tough and get through it. Every time I'm on the court or every chance I have to get extra shots up after practice or stay in the cold tub longer, either I'm gonna choose this to become the person I wanna be or I'm gonna choose this to where it's gonna take me the other way. Those decisions, you make the right decision every single day and you're not gonna be perfect, obviously, but over time, those will stack up. So by the end of the day, you'll look back and know what you did work.